G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for www.tacklejunkie.fish which is the tackle testing arm and enthusiast arm of Fishing Monthly magazines and of course every month in Fishing Monthly all the latest gear is presented by Tackle Junkie in the pages. Now. In the current magazines, we have a promotion. It's called Find the Coastal Black Logo, which is this logo here. And our readers go through the magazine finding the logo and winning themselves packets of coastal black hooks. But what are coastal black hooks? We've decided to, uh, to dive a little bit into it and do our research. And of course, like everyone, we do our research on Google. I go to VMC-Rapala's website. There's an article here that says, VMC coastal black hooks are the sharpest, strongest for saltwater fishing. Um, and the real thing we're interested in is this coastal black coating, which is supposed to give corrosion resistance. In this article it says that, it, uh, that these hooks last longer than any black finish hook on the market and that the corrosion resistant uh, are up to five times more corrosion resistant than traditional black finishes, it says on here. Now, of course, what we have to do at Tackle Junkie is we don't take their word for it, we like to try it. So we've made up our experimental apparatus. We've made up a couple of litres of mock seawater with 35 parts per thousand salt. Of course, kitchen salt we've done that with. We've weighed it out on a little scale. We've mixed it up and I put a batch of different VMC hooks in there. Um, I've put in um, a VMC MC Permasteel Treble, which is apparently the most corrosion resistant. I've put in the Coastal Black Hooks, this Coastal Black Treble here, some singles and a variety of Coastal Black Hooks, but I've also put in some of the traditional, and they look the same, black nickel finished VMCs. You can tell they're black nickel because they've got the BN on the, on the box here. The Coastal Blacks um, have the CB in that description box. Um, so we put in, before the weekend on a Friday afternoon, we put in a variety of these hooks sitting in the salt water. Then we've pulled them out and left them in the air for a couple of days. So they were in the water for around probably 60 hours and they've been out for probably 50 hours. Um, and to the naked eye, there's not much difference with them. You can see that there's a little bit of rust inside where the, the eyelet attachment is. There's nothing much on the coastal black apart from some salt buildup. So we were really a bit skeptical about the coating until I stole this. This is a Australian Geographic $60 microscope that uh, I got off my out of my son's toy box. And this can really show us the difference between the coastal black and the normal black nickel finish. So let's get the um, let's get the hook that we've got with the black nickel finish. I'm going to turn the lights on here to, uh, to give us a little bit of light for the microscope. And we're going to get him underneath and have a look at what's happened to this hook. We're going to get him under the microscope here. We're going to start off at uh, 10, times, 10 times magnification. And there we have, I've got, the, uh, I've got the hook under there. Just push him in a little bit. And I'm going to get that focus coming in. And you can see in here, let's just push this back a little. You can see in here, we've actually got, you can see the colors of it as well. You can see this rust starting up. I'm just gonna move this micro microscope around. So you can see on it here. And we can see on the screen, I'm gonna snapshot there so we can put it on a, um, put it on a bigger, let's push the button take that photo, you can see the rust quite readily building up. There are some salt patches, that, that's reflected of light. There are salt patches there and there are definite patches of rust. If I zoom up to 60 times magnification, um, we can really see, let's get this undone. Let's zoom it, we can, you can really see that corrosion it's like small piles of rust piling up on the inside of that uh, of the eye of the hook. So that is the bl standard black nickel finish that we've got there. Let's move to the uh, to the coastal black finish. It's the same size hook. It's the same strength hook. Um, it's had the same time underwater. Let's put it back onto ten times magnification, and we'll have a look at what we've got here the hook eye flat. We'll look at the same part of the hook eye and in there we can see that there are definitely patches 
of, of built up salt where the salt's dried up on the hook but it's very smooth on the inside here and at no point of this hook can we see any of those little rust piles which are starting on the black nickel finish. So that's a, uh, that's a great start. Let's go up to 60 times magnification just to make sure there's nothing starting there that we can't see and all we can see here really is this is dried salt on the hook. So this is sort of harshest environment imaginable no rust through this uh, through this coastal black coating so that's pretty cool. We don't like uh, taking manufacturers words for anything but uh, what they've said about coastal black hooks um, we don't know if it's five times as corrosion resistant but it's definitely more corrosion resistant than a standard VMC hook. Um, so myth busted you don't pay more for something that's not as good you pay more for something which is uh, which actually does resist um, the corrosion. My opinion though is if you damage these hooks, like all chemically sharpened hooks, the permasteels, any of the damaged hooks, as soon as you make that weak point and break the coating, they're all going to rust. All of the chemically, um, the chemically sharpened hooks are very prone to rust without the coating, so as soon as you bend your chemically sharpened hook, you should take it off, not put it back in the lure box, because no matter how good it is, it's going to be rusty by the next time you go out. So this is Steve Morgan checking out for www.tacklejunkie.fish.